Loudrin. Why did the spear pillar have to go like three layers under the dirt? <laughs> oh. Hey, gentlemen. Oh, this does not look. <laughs> yeah, this is why we learn. Uh. Entei, what are you, uh. Entei, you're standing around here being useless. We're going to pick ourselves what back are these? Off. There are like little just rocks that are like decorative textures. Can I spawn those? Probably. I'm sure they're in their creative menu. You would think. This is a very lonely Larvitar. No, you? And now he's off the cliff. I need like an auto clicker for this. Yeah. The rocks make like a dirt noise when you break them. They're fake. Are they like the silver. They were just fish? styrofoam rocks the whole time. <laughs> styrofoam rock. Just when chat thought we were done placing dirt. <laughs> Probably. I mean, now they get to see us break stuff in rapid time. Yeah, and yeah, then put down so more exciting. dirt where it was. I don't know. I like breaking stuff. But granted, that's why I became an engineer. There was a time where me and my dad had to fix, like, uh, something, uh, one of the... Our, we had a leak. One of our pipes sprung a leak. And so we had to take away, so we had to break down some drywall. Oh, that's and I was upset fun. because initially, uh, I didn't know, like, I was upset because it leaked when I was taking a bath, and I was all like, oh gosh, this is my fault. And my dad goes to me, he's like, no, nah, this is the best part, and then he proceeds to just take a sledgehammer and just Jet, go kill all the these part Pokemon that are in the way while oh, you're telling okay. this story. So anyways, yeah, you got to, like, bust up a wall and pipes. Yep. Got nice. just, uh, we just... Sounds like fun. Just it up. Yeah, it was, it was, at the time I was still upset, but when, after the fact, I was like, oh, he's right. It is fun to break stuff. It did take a while, though, to fix everything, though. It was annoying. Uh, putting up drywall is a pain. Oh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> I still don't have an as elf. Hey, hang on, is that an ultimate mega dancey over there? Oh, is it? Oh my gosh, yeah. It's very frail. I can actually, like, probably insta KO it with, uh, whatchamacallit? Bullet punch. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to hear another story, I can tell you about the crazy thing that happened to me uh, a, a, a week or so ago. Go for it. What happens. That I told Chaos about. Oh, and is it the Zyme like, thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, not that thing. Uh -oh. Uh, Michael actually saw the, like, uh, the yeah, yeah. headings for that. Yep. Shroom, did I tell you about that on Thursday? I don't believe so. About the Persona Zymes? Like, there was a Persona Zyme. A Zyme is where, like, a bunch of creators make, like, a magazine, basically, of, like, fan art and stuff or something like that. Yep. Okay. And uh, there was one for Persona 5, right? And uh, the person who was in charge of it embezzled $22,000 or something yeah, like that. 000, out of it. it was 22,000 US dollars, 27,000 Canadian dollars. Yeah, so 22,000 yeah. USD. And uh, they spent the majority of it on Genshin Impact after yeah. embezzling $22,000. Yep. Oh, it was did crazy. It. Did it for the waifus, respectable. No. Yeah, this was also, this also, I was actually, because I bought the Zyne, uh, I was actually, you know, seeing, like, all the stupid drama that went down, because this person was just awful, like, I put this order, like, I guess we'll talk about it anyway, since we brought it up, but I put in the, or it, like, the orders went out July last year, and they were supposed to be, we were supposed to get them, like, November-ish of last year, I think was the, was when it was supposed to be, and uh, yeah, that didn't happen. Like the person in charge of it was like, "Oh, I wasn't able to 
do this, blah, blah, blah. Came up with a bunch of excuses all the time for like why things weren't getting done. Oh, I was what checking the them for quality. I was being quality control, all this bull crap. And finally, like, it got to like April of this year, you know, like we're, we're getting like close, we were getting close to, uh, All right. Close to. Yeah, we were. Well, what we were. We were getting close to basically a whole year because what happened was is people were getting frustrated and fed up because we were over six months of waiting for it and we just kept getting more and more excuse from the lead mod who was the person that embezzled, and it just was ridiculous. And finally, they what they decided to do was they got to the point where the other mods had to come in and literally one of the other mods had to take like a six hour train or something because she just would not, she wouldn't give the, she wouldn't give the product to the other mods so the other mods could handle it. She wasn't being upfront with the, with the money, which, it, which now we know why, but we all kind of like, everybody else was like, Hmm, this seems kind of sus. And, uh, yeah, as it turns out, spent 22k on Genshin and Impact. One thing that was also crappy that did kind of happen was uh, when uh, people started wanting refunds because, you know, like, we bought it in July. We were supposed to get it, like, first they said October, then they moved it to, like, January, and then you didn't get it in January, and people were like, well, are we gonna even get this thing? Does this thing even exist? And so... Like, they made an offer of, like, you can get a refund, or, like, they didn't really want to give out refunds because they didn't know the monitor situation because the head mod was being, a, you know, not upfront about it. So, what happened was, is, I eventually went and was like, hey, I think, uh, what's going on? I want a refund, or... And they were like, oh, we'll ship it to you. And I was like, okay. I mean... And I was like, okay, fine. I'm like, I'll get it. I'll get mine. And I'm so glad I did because, oh boy, when all the when the other mods got the rest of the designs, because they only had like a small amount at first, they only they had to literally ship it from this person because she had all of the designs. Hey, they Lord. had to ship it from We're her. Not Wolf, Michael. What are you and doing? I think this is about like center. Yeah, it looks pretty. I think good. I wanted it a little bit wanted. further back instead of center. All right, so then like we can go like halfway between this and yeah, about the there. other one. I think like I think that what, the like... altar should be like where you are about, and the altar is pretty at the back. But yeah, yeah. they started Ooh, offering like uh, this would be like kind of refund. this would be kind of the walk up, honestly. Sure. People came to them for refunds. They'd be like, "Yeah, you could have it. We'll give it to you." And then after they got all of the zines, because, you know, some people were willing to wait and other people were like, well, I mean, if they're offering it in exchange, rather than to have to pay me back my money, I'll take it, I'll take the thing. And as a result, when they got, like, all the zines that they'd made, because they'd made enough for every person at first, they found out that that was the first lie they caught the head mod. Well, that wasn't the first lie. They caught the head mod in a few lies. There's just a lot of information to try to process. But... The head mod didn't grade any of them, basically. So there was a lot of really crappy product. So they had to go and they had to remake the product. And yeah, and then now the biggest thing is they is that this the head mod, the person that started it all, embezzled the money. Like, How it's fun. awful because... Oh, that's crazy. They were, yeah, they were the one what that else? started it. And Very like... Much. Like, the problem was, is they were the one that started it. They were the ones in charge. They never had a history of any of this before. So, like, the other mods, like, were completely caught off guard. Like, they didn't see any of it coming. It was ridiculous. Their first yeah, clue should have been that they played that. Uh, Genshin Impact. Addictions yeah. to Genshin Impact are real. Yeah. Is this the direction that we want this? What? I didn't even think about, like, do you want it on that side of the... Yeah. Island? Okay. That's the front of Just the island sure. where I'm looking. Alright. Just making sure, because I didn't, like, actually pay attention to what, like, direction it was. Six, seven, one, two, three, four. But yeah, five, the crazy six, thing that happened to seven. me 
was uh, what happened, like, I tweeted about it a little bit, where it was, uh, I got caught in another storm. <laughs> because... oh, really? All so, the time with this chick. So what happened was, is it's so funny, like, I was talking to my coworker that day, and, like, it was a really hot day. It was, like, the first day of, like, being really hot after being really cool. So, you know, I think we were, like, on the edge of, like, a warm front and a cold front had just passed through. And so, naturally, the, they predicted, the forecast said thunderstorms for the day. But the problem was, is they forecasted, like, middle of the day, nothing. And when I looked at the weather map, radar map, I'm like, oh, they got it up in Wisconsin. They didn't get it down here. We're fine. It passed us. Because my friend was telling me, like, oh, gosh, all my friends in Madison and Milwaukee are sending pictures of lightning-struck trees and damage and i'm like oh man that's crazy they must have got the storm that was heading our way and after i finished talking to my coworker, my sister texts me and is like hey you want to go for a walk and like i'm like well it's clearly not going to storm today sure what she doesn't tell me is that my mom told her hey the weatherman said storms might pop up even if they're not on the radar right now but i didn't know that and my sister didn't tell me that and I've been operating under the assumption of, okay, they forecast a storm, I don't see any storms on the radar, and for some reason, apparently, when you look up, hey, my location weather, it doesn't automatically tell you, yo, hey, dingus, Michael. There might, here, here there be storms. So, so, literally me and my sister go out, get in our car, and we start driving, and Michael, I'm looking over to the north. I'm coming back, I was getting an egg. And I'm looking at the north, and I'm like, hmm... That's a really dark sky. That's real, like the cloud, it was just pitch black. And I'm like, that looks the ominous. The stairs are supposed to be different. And my sister goes to me, she's like, making it's fine. The there's, the sun on, there's sunlight coming from the other side. It's fine. And so we're like, okay, we're going to go to this forest preserve and we're going to be fine. And I'm like, it's probably just going to thunder. What's get... And I'm like, my expectation was we're going to get there and maybe it's going to thunder and we're going to have to turn around and go back. So uh, we get there. We get to the forest preserve. And literally as soon as we, we park up and we're just about to get out of the car is when our phones go off and are like, hey, it's a tornado warning. <laughs> like we just passed. We just passed a watch. We just passed, we, we just went right to warning, and I was just like, me and my sister just both looked at each other, and we're just like, yeah, we're gonna leave now? <laughs> mm -hmm. And we'd gone to a forest preserve, and this forest preserve, like, where I live is fairly, like, there's a lot of places, like, if, if worse came to worse, and I was, like, walking around outside, or, like, driving around, I could find somewhere in my town that I could, you know, take cover in. There's places I can go, that I know I can go to. Uh... There was no place, we, were, we weren't completely out in the middle of nowhere, but we were out in the middle of not a lot of places to go to when there's a tornado. Come here, Michael. So... It doesn't sound fun. Yeah, it was not fun. Uh, so we, yeah, we both, like, we hit the road and my sister's like, can we just outrun it? Can we just head in the direction where it's not dark? And I'm like, I mean, how, how fast is it moving? Where is it coming from? Like we, like we, I opened the radar. I'm like, I can't read this. And so I call my parents. I'm like, yo, hey, there's a tornado warning where we're at. Can you guys see where it's going? And so they tell us to head for home, like head for my parents' house. Because my parents have a pretty solid basement. I'm like, good plan. We're going to head there. Uh, so we start heading that way. So for a while we'd gone south, which was away from the storm. And then we're like, okay, well, we're, we should be a good bit south. We'll cut east and we'll get to home. And we're driving for a little bit. We roll the windows down and we hear the sirens and we both collectively shit ourselves. Sorry. <laughs> we both collectively crap ourselves. And uh, because, you know, sirens while you're outside in a car is a bad time. Yeah, that's not ideal. Yeah, you know, normally, like, I've, like, I understand, like, people are, like, in the Midwest, like, oh, we, we've, we've dealt with storms before, they're nothing new. There is something terrifying about being outside with nowhere to go, with no idea where this storm is, no idea how big it is, because one of the things that I didn't know was Northerners, I didn't know, am I right, Michael? Yeah. Was I didn't know I'm out that... Of bricks, by the way. 
Okay, I got a spawn a lot. Was, of these, uh, I didn't know that the way the link the language of a tornado warning alert is it always says extreme. So when I said when it said extreme, I was like, Have oh you ever God. met a mild tornado before? I mean, there are five. There is there is this EF scale for a reason. And the thing was, is looking at the language of the tornado warning, I thought we were dealing with something that was super dangerous. And what, like a tornado? I, well, an EF five. EF five is if you're not underground, you're dead. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I don't know, like I don't know why my brain just jumped to the worst one, but that was the thought. I think I probably know why. And. Well, also, I'd, like, been watching tornado documentaries before this, and, like, Genius. that's how I knew, like, EF1, EF5 is deadly if you're not, like, in a specific shelter or in a basement. Should, Michael, you think we should do, like, steps around, and... or maybe slabs like this? But yeah, anyway, so, like, seeing that, like, and it gets worse, yeah, because... Like as we're starting to head east towards my parents' slabs, house, because, of that? course, when my parents call us... And my dad's like, like, do not come to this? us. Yeah. We just got the siren. And in the background, we I could literally stairs. hear the siren coming from his phone. And I was just like, well, this is great. <laughs> Where do we go? We were like, like, my parents are like, okay, there's a restaurant and you're heading towards on this street. Go there. Hide out in the bathroom. I'm like, good plan. Bathroom works. And then we can, and I'm like, because me and my sister were both like, we just want, I, my sister's like, oh, we can outrun it. I'm like, we don't know where it's going. I would much rather be in a building than in a car because I don't want something to come flying at us and kill us. So, uh, don't so we're catch trying a stray to, cow. Has become, <laughs> I mean, Is I'm more worried about debris, but thing? you know. Yep. Uh, no, no, no. It's three quarters. No. Tomorrow night. Yeah. All right. But anyways, so we start heading Which one for. What should we do, Portellos. Michael? The dusty ones or the normal ones? Um. Wait, what is this? This is just the normal temple block. I was looking at ruins wall, and then there's also one called this Dusty. Dusty. Okay. Dusty. But yeah, so... I think I like this one the most. That's just ruins wall. Just ruins wall. So anyways, so we have our target now. We're like, okay, we're going to aim for this restaurant. And we were, I was looking at our phones, and I'm like, okay, that's three minutes out. We can make it before something bad happens, hopefully. And uh, so we get stuck behind a truck. And, like, we're like, not, we, we don't want to be here. And, like, my sister's like, why is not everybody running? And I'm like, if everybody starts not driving safely... We're all gonna die. We're all gonna be stuck in a spot if it actually is dangerous. Or they just didn't care. I don't know. The Midwest is, is like, some people, like, maybe people, other people have just been outside during a tornado and don't care. I mean, there is, like... I know what will in, be, like, will be. Yeah, in, in, in Oklahoma, like, they have tornado tours, like, where they'll wait for a tornado and they'll take a bunch of people out, you know, get cl as close as... Oklahoma's close having a, a banger of a time. Yeah. <laughs> Oklahoma, they're like, yeah, we'll take you on a tornado tour where you can go take pictures of a tornado coming at you. It's like, okay, cool. That cool, sounds cool. fun. Have fun. Uh, so, yeah, so we're, like, we get stuck behind a truck, and so we make the decision to go around the truck. We're like, we don't want to be stuck behind this thing. We want to get where we're going pretty quickish. And uh, as a result of going into the middle lane to go around it, we missed the turn. And my sister's just like, and we're both just like, What's our next target? And my sister was like, well, we'll go for Target. And I'm like, Target is 13 minutes away from where we're at. I don't want to be stuck out here any longer. <laughs> and we're coming up on an expressway. And just as we near the expressway, we get another alert. Probably because we must have crossed either into another town, into another county. I don't know. And so we look over the expressway. And we're just like, and my sister's just like, I'm just going to go there. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Because, <laughs> like, there was... N we weren't going to find anything going the way we were. So we hit head to the expressway. We lo I'm looking at the alert. The alert still says extreme. And I'm just like, bad times. I look behind me. The storm looks nasty as hell. So I'm like, can we get there sharpish? And so we're... S we <laughs> 
we speed down the expressway, and my sister's, like, kid, like just insisting that she just wants to run it. Like, she just wants to outrun it. And I'm like, we don't know where it's going, and it's and if it's fast, it's going to catch up to us. So... Can I'm... one outrun a tornado? Yeah. Is that, like, eh, you, you can. Do? can. Yes. Absolutely yeah, you, you can. can. That's, like, it, that's what I would have done. You can, but it, it helps if you know where they're going. Because if you don't know where it's going, then you it could you could it really you could double back on it. You could be going down a path. I mean, it really also depends on how close you are to it. Break I that mean, because storm chase because tornado chases do it all the time. They get close to them and then they avoid them. But the thing is, is like if you get close enough to it and you don't know where it's going, or you you're, you don't know how and you're not or you're not far enough away from it. Hmm. It'll come up on you and it'll wreck your day. Ah. Like there is there is video footage of a tornado chaser who just narrowly escapes a tornado, and it's That's like the most fun kind of escape. Yeah, he escapes it, but then he doesn't know it. But there's a bunch of storm chasers. There was a group of storm chasers behind him that didn't make it. Ew. Yeah. And he had a rough time. Like his video, like is how is of him struggling. Like, there is, like, I feel the road that. is completely <laughs> soaking wet, and the wind is ridiculous, and it's just fighting him the whole time. Like, that was just, like, skin of your teeth escape. Now, me and my sister, we couldn't see any tornado. Like, I was looking behind, like, I was looking behind us. It was just pitch black behind us, so I could not tell if, like, there was a tornado there or if there wasn't. But I was so terrified that I was just, like... We're going to find somewhere to get below. We're going to go to a basement, and we're going to take shelter, and then we're going to work yeah, things out. Before we go any further, yeah, is it with with how we've got this? Is it possible to have the time space altar be centered? What do you mean, have the altar in the very middle? But like, I mean, obviously, you'd want it to be like, you wouldn't want it to be like slightly to one side because this is like an even number. Does it only take up one block, or is it like the like the machines that are like? Look, I did this at an blocks. odd number when I first did it. I had a centerpiece, and then I did seven Oops. down both sides. After, how did it get even? Well, if if you did that, fifteen is an honorary even number. We all know that. <laughs> what? That doesn't have what? <laughs> oh, hey, my chan. Doing punching. Yeah, so we were going down the. So my sister and I were going down an expressway. My sister still wants to outrun it. I'm like, I, we don't know where it is. And I. And the thing is, is I feel like my nerves would have just given up, and I. And then we would have had a problem. And so what I said was, the college we had um a college nearby that oh, we'd got. It was a community college that we had both gone to, and it had a basement. So I was like, that's an option. And my sister said, well, we don't currently go there. Will they let us in? And I'm like. Uh, so shave one like block off the side. You think be with a tornado, the yes, it's just... it's not... yeah, they probably would. Uh, it, shave it one off. Let's on... extend it one to the left, one on the left side. On the left side. Because I mean, take when my this, mom take got one more to the side. Here. Tornado. Uh, right, we'll Home Depot. Like she had to pass though. my little brother to like the people at Home Depot to uh, take him inside so they could avoid the tornado. <laughs> but that was a diff That's a different time. Uh. That was like when I was much younger, and I wasn't actually in the tornado. I was the orthodontist. Everybody, my family was separated that time. This time was just me and my sister in the middle of it. And so we had two options. We had go to the college, which I felt like it was a better take with the fact that it had a basement and it seemed pretty solid, or go to the mall because there was a mall nearby. And my sister's like, we can definitely get into the mall. It's a safer bet. It has a basement. I'm like, it does have a basement and it's built in. And so we decided to go for the mall. I thought the mall was further than it was, so I was a little nervous because I thought we weren't going to get to the mall in time. We would have to go east, which was kind of the direction of the storm. Because clearly it had hit my parents' house and my parents had been east of us. So logic dictated it would go that way. And so we went to the mall. We, I realized that I'd forgotten that the mall is only partially a basement. It's built into a hill. But I realized if it's built into a hill, if something hits us, if we go to the part that has 
the building built into the hill, like the corner that's mostly that the corner that is the most into the ground, like yeah. into the side of the hill. Better than it, better than anything else. And once we were in the mall, like that was when we could kind of take a moment, take a moment to breathe and calm down. And I could look up and reassess what the situation was. Uh, and that was how I figured out that no, it wasn't an EF5 we were dealing with. It was just an possible EF1. Possible EF1. And I was like, more okay, like a so strong we breeze than anything. So we weren't we weren't dead dead, but we were still we would it would have been a bad time. We still would have had a very bad time if we were out in the middle of it. So we hang out at J at the mall. We hang out at the mall for a little while. We wait for the worst to pass. Then uh, that we did a little bit of shopping, and then we headed back. And we were like. The funny thing was, is like, it was all sunny out, it was calmer now, we're like, okay, we passed it, we, we, we turn into one town, we, we hit the street that'll, if we take, we just, we hit the street that we just have to take straight north to go home, <laughs> and then our emergency alert goes off again, and I was, like, my sister was so done, but I was just, like, panicking, even though, like, you looked at the alert and the alert expired basically in a minute because we just reached the town. Which is how I think, like, I guess alerts probably do pop up. Like, if you are moving from town to town or, or county to county, it'll pop up like, Hey, you've just entered this county. Guess what? We're having a tornado warning right now, and it ends this time. So, but I still did not feel comfortable with that, but my sister was just so done, and she was the one driving. So she was like, nope, I'm gonna go at my pace. I'm not gonna, I'm not rushing home. And so we got home, we were safe, everything was fine. But uh, the next day I was doing some, I was just kind of checking to see what went down. And I find out that, I, I look up like, okay, hey, so what happened? So it's like, okay, there wasn't, there, there's not, there wasn't a big, like a completely confirmed tornado. But like, they're like, yeah, but there's tornado damage in this town. I'm like, oh, where's that town? The, the town was, we, I looked at it, I looked up the town where the forest preserve was. My sister and I literally were in the town over from where the storm started. We drove right up to it. Bold move. Yep, so that's the second time I've driven myself into another storm. Should try not to do that in the future. Yeah, I should try not to do that in the future. It's I'm just surprised it happened twice, in two in the past two years. I I, I didn't th I honestly didn't think anything was gonna top like driving, going to the zoo and then having to drive out in a, out of a out of a thunderstorm. Like I was like driving into a thunderstorm and then having like a lightning strike in front of me. I'm like okay, nothing's gonna top me. And I think going right next door, going the town over to a town that has a tornado start because they, they didn't confirm the tornado, but there was tornadic damage in the area. So they're like, there's a possible tornado there. Or at the very least, the wind caused similar levels of damage. So yeah, I, me and my sister drove right next door to the tornado. Good effort. Yep. Maybe we should elevate this up one, Michael. My sister takes it as a badge of pride. She's like, we, we all yes. ran a tornado. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> it was... But I will say, it was definitely the most terrifying experience. I do not ever recommend... Like, tornadoes are, like, tornadoes are common in, in the Midwest. And, like, I've had, like, a few times where I've had to go to the basement and done all of that stuff. And, like, I understand, like, people wanting to, like, poke their heads out and look around. I feel like that's like fine when you're like have like your safe spot right next to you so like then you can be more bold and you can kind of look for it maybe record it do all that stuff but being on the road with nothing and you're like where do i go terrifying would not i i hope i never have to deal with that again that was the worst and Chaos knows because, like, I, as soon as we got to JC Petty's, I'm like, "Hi, we just we just drove into a tornado." <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really surprised by this point. You just expect me to find trouble, don't you? 
that's about all you ever do. Wait a minute, did I make this even? I made this even somehow. Nice. How do I always do this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 